I want to play a little soundbite from you. This is Sister Simone Campbell. She is the head of Network, which is a left-of-center lobbying organization here in Washington. She brought up your diocesan uh, native mm -hmm. son, Paul Ryan, and his budget. Listen and react, please. Paul Ryan claims this budget reflects the principles of our shared faith. But the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops stated that the Ryan budget failed a basic moral test because it would harm families living in poverty. We agree with our bishops, and that's why we went on the road. Bishop Morlino, how binding is that critique of the Ryan budget? And when Sister Simone Campbell says, our bishops, did all the bishops condemn and critique no. this budget? No, uh, what happened was a committee of bishops entrusted with domestic policy came to their own prudential judgment about this particular matter and offered it for public reflection. And that's what they should do, and that's fine. And what they, articulate, what they articulated is certainly worthy of respect and consideration. But the American bishops bind only when every last bishop is in agreement. And as a matter of fact, it was in the uh, press and in the blogosphere that uh, Archbishop Nauman, mm -hmm. Bishop Boyer, Archbishop Vigneronic expressed certain hesitancy about, about that this, critique. About mm -hmm. this. And about seeming to uh, push too hard for one prudential judgment over another mm -hmm. where intrinsic evil is not involved. Uh -huh. So the bu budget matters are really prudential judgments. This is not, a, this is not a, 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 a something that is dogmatic, like abortion is always intrinsically evil, euthanasia is always intrinsically right. evil. Cutting the rate of increase or cutting a particular program might or might not be. They're prudential matters, and they are matters for competent laymen who understand their lay mission in the church to determine. Hmm. It is not for me to pass approval or disapproval on Paul Ryan's budget. The other point is, and I've said this many times, what is a budget? A budget is a hypothesis. Mm -hmm. And a budget has to go through both houses of Congress. This budget is being talked about as if were Romney to win, that budget would go into effect almost immediately. Right, that budget's defunct, though. He's not even, even right. Paul Ryan isn't suggesting Right, he's that anymore. updated. Mm -hmm. But the point is that, you know, what it will look like after it goes through the sausage grinder of both <laughs> in houses. This, in this sausage grinder behind both, us here. Yes, both houses of Congress and so on uh, may be somewhat substan or substantially different from what we've got right now. So we're talking about using a hypothesis to draw a conclusion that Paul Ryan and Mitt Romney don't care. Mm -hmm. And you, that's a big jump. Uh -huh. That's a big jump. And so the reason you wrote your article and sort of came to his defense was not to defend the budget, but to defend the man you know. Not to defend the budget not to endorse the candidate, but to defend the character and the good name of a very fine Catholic gentleman mm -hmm. in the estimation of almost everyone. Sister Simone Campbell, we saw, presented herself. She was a speaker at one party's convention. As a religious, is that an appropriate place for a religious to be, not to be offering prayer, but to be offering a partisan statement in the name of the church or quasi in the name of the church? Well, again, that's, I would say this. Religious women are technically laity, but we don't look to them to exercise lay mission in the sense that we look to you to do it, mm -hmm. or Paul Ryan, because their consecrated life means that above all, they want to witness to the holiness of the church and the holiness of our Blessed Mother. Mm -hmm. That's what their call is. 
and to engage in a way that would prompt people on the blogosphere to call her a star. Mm -hmm. For instance, at the Democratic Convention seems far from appropriate for what we would expect from someone who lives the consecrated life. <laughs> Thank you.